I'm just going to run through a couple of ways we can share content wirelessly to our Microsoft Teams room. So on my laptop here, I have the Teams client open. Um, the first thing you can do is if you're in a meeting, it's super easy. This is fairly self-explanatory, but I can show the proximity join here. So I'm going to join this meeting from my laptop here. But then you've got an option here. So normally if you were just at home and you had nothing else, you'd use your computer audio, but you can select room audio um, and it will actually look for a Microsoft Teams room. It's just, it showed my personal room because I've actually got two Teams rooms here. So I could have selected either one, but I'm going to select my Microsoft Teams room, Sydney demo here and join. And you can see on my Teams client, it's got my camera and microphone and all my audio muted so you don't get the echo feedback screeching loop sound. And then up there on the neat board, on my Microsoft Teams room, the neat board is actually joining the meeting. So my laptop's in the meeting, just everything's muted because I'm in a meeting room and I want to use the neat board. Oh, sorry, I'll just uh, start my camera. So you can see that there is video going both ways. You can see the Yep, cool. I'll stop that. So back on my Teams client, um, if I click share, this is obviously while they're sharing, you can share your whole screen. You can include computer sound if you want to. Uh, I'm just going to share a window. Uh, let's just share my browser. And that's, that's pretty straightforward. So I did get to show you proximity joining to a Microsoft Teams room there, but the actual functionality of while they're sharing is, is very straightforward. So I'll click down there to stop sharing. Um, and I'll end this meeting. So that was joining a meeting there from my Teams client.